Hi, my name is Yui and I'm Zia. We are going to present our Maya plugin hairspray, which provides a friendly hair shading tool for an artist. Here are some motivation. Currently, there is no existed hair shading tool in the market that is user friendly. Existed tools are either limited or hard to use. Some tools are limit the artist to only be able to shade physically based look, and therefore limit their creativity. Artists have to either do some ad hoc shader shading work to get desirable effect. Moreover, many shading tool parameters make it really hard to tune each one of them independently of each other. Also, this to control parameters are not intuitive. For instance, the parameter of changing color of hair often not directly impact the color of hair in the final image because the relationship in physically based shader is highly nonlinear, particularly in the case of multiple scattering. Therefore, we propose our Maya plugin, Hairspray. The objective of Hairspray is to provide user friendly hair shading tool, aiding the tedious shading process. Our plugin has the following features. First, intuitive behavior of control parameters. Each parameter corresponding to visual distinct feature and behave predictably. Second, our control parameters are decoupling. Therefore, changing one parameter will not affect the others. Third, support of physically based shading model as well as, as non-physically based one allowing artists to fully express their creativity. And forward, easily integration with Maya hair system, Maya nerve curve, and shave and haircut. User can either load in hair file and represent them as nerve curve, or use the exit, existed Maya hair system or shave and haircut plugin. User then simply attach our shader to the geometry, create light, and then render. The plugin is based on SIGGRAPH 2010 paper, an artist-friendly hair shading system. The approach used in the paper is called dual scattering. Dual scattering have two main components which contribute to the look of hair. First, local scattering, and second, global multiple scattering. Local scattering approximates the light scattering even within the neighborhood of the shading point, while global multiple scattering approximates light penetrate and scatter in the hair volume. We have included a video demonstrating the usage of hairspray and various rendered images. Each image is intended to highlight particular shading parameters. Here we are using our plugin with the Maya hair system. We have created a basic hair and a basic directional light. We put the light into a light set and all of the geometry into a geometry set. We then go to the assignment panel in 3D Light and assign our shader to the hair. Next, we open the light attributes to turn on the shadow maps and the shadowing objects features. We then link the hair system to the light set. And now we can tune the parameters for the hair. And now we can render. Here is the render of the deep shadow map, which is used to compute dual scattering. And here is the primary highlight and base color components. The primary highlight represents the main light colored highlight that is reflected off the surface of the hair. The more apparent the highlight is, the more sheen the hair will have. The transmission highlight, or the rim light, represents light that is transmitted through the hair, similar to the effects of subsurface scattering. This is important for backlighting. The secondary highlight represents light that is refracted into the hair strand, hitting the back of the surface and reflecting back towards the front. Glints are representative of tiny caustics refracted throughout the hair, and basically this is how hair looks shimmery. 
Forward scattering computes the light that scatters forward and maintains its forward directionality inside the hair volume. And this is incredibly important for backlighting. The plugin also supports backward scattering, which represents the light that goes into the hair volume and comes back to the surface. Here are some results. As we can see, our shader supports both realistic hair colors, like the ones on the middle and the right, and unrealistic colors, like the one on the left. Here are more rendered results. The leftmost image is a render of only single scattering, and as we can see, the highlights are very sharp and unrealistic looking. The rightmost image is a render of the deep shadow map. The one in the middle is the final render with dual scattering. This shading model works best with flat high hairstyles, but not as well for curly hair. So, thank you for listening. Thank you.